Hey everyone, um, today we're making some homemade deer jerky. Uh, I don't, uh, just start off, uh, I don't slice the meat, I grind it and I put it in this uh, jerky gun. Um, and it makes them all uniform and everything. Uh, but uh, I do mine a little bit differently. Um, we'll start off with uh, uh, the equipment that I use. Um, there's the meat grinder. And I have a dish right here to set the, uh, to grind the meat down into. Uh, my food dehydrator. Um, if you don't have one of these, you can definitely do it in the oven. Uh, just set your temperature to 165 degrees. But, and uh, I have five pounds of deer meat in this bowl right here. And it's all cut up in cubes. And uh, I mix the seasoning and everything in here first, and then I grind it so it mixes all the seasoning in ah. with it. Um, this is uh, three quarters of a cup of brown sugar, quarter cup of salt, uh, two tablespoons of meat tenderizer, a uh, tablespoon and a half of black pepper, a uh, teaspoon and a half of cayenne pepper, and a tablespoon of garlic powder. It's going to be one third cup of Worcestershire sauce and a quarter cup of soy sauce. So we'll get uh, started. Um, what I'll do is mix in all these seasonings together. break up any of the clumps uh, ahead of time and then uh, I just I'll dump about half of it on top mix it in uh, put this and then uh, soy sauce Best way to mix this in is just with your hands. Then I'll red add the rest of the seasonings. There we go. That's all mixed in. And bring the meat grinder over. It's, uh, this is fairly loud, so uh, all I'm doing is just put placing it at the top of the uh, meat grinder and uh, that's it and watch it grind it Here we go. Um, this is all the meat ground up. Uh, it only took me probably about 10 minutes to grind it, but I didn't uh, film that. Uh, and my next step is uh, take one of these uh, spatulas, I guess. Um, it's for mixing. But uh, And my tube for my jerky gun. And... Uh, Scoop it up and place it inside. Try to get out as much air as possible. Um, so kind of pack it kind of dense.
All right, I got one row done. And uh, just to make it, I guess, kind of nicer looking, um, I uh, kind of pack it together more more into a uh, the stick shape. Okay, um, now that I have all the jerky uh, squirted out, not well, not all of it, some of it, I still have, a, uh, I'd say probably about a third left. Um, you can buy extra trays for this, but they didn't have any in the store uh, when I bought this. The, um, and basically, they just stack on top of one another. like so. This lid is just placed right on top of it and um, you uh, plug it in and it turns it on uh, and it has different settings um, for meat I'm doing the uh, 160 and uh, it'll probably take about seven hours to dehydrate and after that, Gunner, sit down. I'm sorry. Uh, it'll take a little, a little, uh, about seven hours to dehydrate, and you can check it periodically. Just uh, don't check it too often, um, so the heat will stay inside and everything. But thanks for watching, and uh, I'll uh, do another video once it's all done.